Yo, what's going on guys? Shaheem S here and welcome to some more WWE 2K18 My Career Mode Beyond. That's what we're calling it guys, Career Mode Beyond. Because we're going past Career Mode, we're in Universe Mode, we're making up our own Career Mode. So you know what, I try to come up with an original kind of creative title for the series. So, so last week, or actually should I, let's start from the beginning, two weeks ago, in game anyways two weeks ago the cleaners Kenny Omega and Jaheim part of the Bullet Club debuted against Heath Slater and Rhino to become number one contenders for the Raw Tag Team Championship titles last week Jaheim faced Dean Ambrose 101 and came out victorious over the champ this week though we got Kenny Omega taking on Seth Rollins the other champ and after this I believe it's the pay-per-view so let's see how this goes for us so we, we're in the ring now. I don't know if it's recording the entrance song because in the last video it didn't record the entrance song for some reason. So it was just them walking down the ring. You could hear the crowd still. You could hear any like noise that the characters made while walking down to the ring but you couldn't hear the song itself. So that was pretty confusing. I really wish it said burn it down right there. So yeah, now we got Seth Rollins and his tag team partner Dean Ambrose. We're gonna go ahead and skip that. Because, like I said, I don't know if this time it's recording the audio or the entrance song. If not, I'm, I don't know. I might edit it over it, maybe. So, we got Kenny Omega now going against Seth Rollins. Kenny went for a V-trigger. Both of them went for a double kick. But Kenny Omega with a Pele kick starting off the match. That was a little back and forth right there. Kenny drops set, picks him up. What is Kenny thinking about? A forearm to set. Sets on the rope. What is Kenny Omega going for? An insecurity to Seth Rollins. I expect this set to go flying over the rope, to be honest. And Kenny Omega misses the kick. And a drop kick. Both of them went for a drop kick again. And Kenny with another Pele kick. These two predicting each other's moves and going for the same thing. We got Kenny's tag team partner, Jaheim, on the outside. And we got Ambrose in Rollins' corner. And Rollins now with the single leg drop kick to Kenny. Kenny rolls out, gets back in the ring. But it was a trap and it ends a great to the arm of Seth Rollins. Surprisingly, it knocked him down. Drop kick again from Kenny Omega, making sure Seth Rollins doesn't get any offense in. Aw, oh, crap. Kenny went for a spinning kick. Seth Rollins now with a slap. Kenny Omega with a fireman's carry. And what is this? Kenny now connecting the kick after a few mistries. Oh, uh, yeah, that was pretty bad for, on my end. Kenny Omega now with the wind-up uppercut. Turning around Seth Rollins and Kenny Omega now with the two sweet hand gesture. And a rare super kick sending Seth Rollins into the corner. What is Kenny thinking about? And a, oh, I actually connected a um, double axe handle. And a V trigger from Kenny. There it is, the V trigger. Um, Kenny with another one. Sending Seth Rollins down. And Kenny now, once again. No, this time he's saying suck it. And look at this. Seth Rollins is getting up. I don't think I have a running finisher for Kenny. So I don't know why my plan was there. Kenny with another drop kick. I swear to you, I'm not trying to do all these drop kicks. But you know, before we go for the finisher, we're going to go for some other moves. We're going to make sure we put him away. Kenny Omega now with a Falcon Arrow to the Architect Seth Rollins. Kenny now with a Springboard Moonsault. The Architect over here trying to make sure his body's okay. Seth Rollins now. What is this? Dropping Kenny on his neck. That could seriously injure someone. Someone not named Kenny Omega. Kenny's a highly trained professional. We got Jaheim in the corner. Cheering on Kenny. Jaheim doesn't look too worried. Dean Ambrose doesn't look worried at all either. Seth Rollins is now going to high risk, high reward. What is he thinking about? Oh. Oh, was that a Phoenix Splash? It was like inverted a little bit. Seth Rollins picking up Kenny Omega. Set went for a bulldog. Kenny said, "Hell no!" And another drop kick from Kenny Omega. All right, I gotta stop doing drop kicks. I know, guys. What is Kenny looking for? Kenny with a super kick. Rollins caught it, but a super kick anyways from Kenny. And another springboard move. This time it's a Phoenix Splash. Kenny, look at this. What is Kenny thinking about? Bruh, he's supposed to be standing when I do that. I know that. But I didn't expect it to actually do it. Kenny now going for it again. This time Rollins is on his feet and a drop kick. Alright, that was pretty bad actually. Oh, I thought I had another signature. When is it going to give me another signature? Dean Ambrose now trying to distract Kenny Omega. 
Kenny's not having any of it though. Kenny's not having any of it. And look at this, Kenny's turning around Dean Ambrose. What is he thinking about? Rollins is getting back up to his feet. Kenny transitioning into the one wing angel to the lunatic fringe, Dean Ambrose. Ambrose was taunting Kenny. And Kenny did not want any of it. Now Rollins with a neck breaker to Kenny Omega. Ambrose is still down. Rollins, Kenny might want to get back in the ring. Rollins throws Kenny Omega back into the ring. This match has been all Kenny so far. But Rollins could turn it off. Off that distraction from Dean Ambrose. And Kenny with another V-trigger. Another V-trigger from Seth Rollins. What is Kenny Omega thinking about? Kenny turning around Seth Rollins. We saw what he just did to Dean Ambrose. What is he doing it now? The one wing angel to the architect, the Kingslayer, Seth Rollins. But Seth kicks out. Kenny can't believe it. Kenny can't believe it. What is this though? Kenny has his legs on the rope. The ref doesn't see it. One, two, and Rollins kicks out. Oh crap. Rollins with a snap mirror and now the elbow barrage onto the left arm of Kenny Omega. Trying to wear down his arms, which is a good tactic. Kenny now picking up Rollins and another spin kick. But Rollins ducks under and with a clothesline takes down Kenny Omega. God. Rollins now throwing Kenny Omega into the corner. I think I know exactly what he's about to do. Okay. Um, Rollins is probably going for the buckle bomb. Kenny Omega went for an enziguri. Rollins now with a tilt to work. No, a float over DDT to Kenny Omega. Jaheim barely had any trouble last week taking out Dean Ambrose. Things aren't looking too good for Kenny at the moment. Rollins now with a standing... Uh, is that a moonsault? Now, Seth Rollins trying to wear down the neck, the upper body of Kenny Omega, trying to tap him out. But Kenny gets out of it. Kenny, oh, I thought I had, oh, and a Pele kick from Kenny. I thought I had a submission. I was trying to go for the V trigger. Oh, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Seth Rollins trying to get up in the corner. What is Kenny Omega thinking about? Kenny trying to grab him. Rollins turned him around. Rollins now. And Kenny. Went for the super kick. Rollins with the reversal. And Rollins with the King Slayer to Kenny Omega. That's a rope break. I was about to say. Kenny, though, with his great wing, uh, ring awareness, got the rope break. And a knee to the face from Kenny Omega. Kenny now. Say, say with us now, guys. Too sweet. Kenny with the clothesline. And another clothesline. Rollins went for a clothesline of his own. Kenny with the super kick to Seth Rollins. And another one, but Rollins once again ducks under, turns him around, and goes for the Tiger Suplex. Or is that the Dragon Suplex? I, I don't know, I always mix it up. Kenny now, oh, went for the V-Trigger. Rollins got out of the way. A punch to the face, and Rollins with the schoolboy super kick. Kenny Omega has just been busted open. He is bleeding here on Monday Night Raw. Rollins now with another standing moonsault. I'm pretty sure that's a moonsault, right? I keep making, I don't know. And Kenny kicks out at one. Didn't have to use resiliency. I thought I would have put him away by now. You know, because last week I just put away Ambrose. Rollins now with another King Slayer. Ripcord knee strike to Kenny Omega. That could be it. Yeah, I didn't want to use resiliency. And that's it. The winner, Seth Rollins. He showed no mercy to his opponent. He saw what Kenny did to Ambrose early on in this match. And he made sure it didn't go unnoticed. Well, oh, Ambrose hurt from that one wing angel. Rollins and Ambrose once again reunited as the shield. And these two teammates standing tall in the ring. So the game apparently glitched. Cause it's supposed to be Kenny shaking Rollins' hand. Because Kenny lost the match. But, you know, whatever. These two, Jaheim defeated Ambrose. Rollins defeated Kenny. How will this affect their match and their thoughts going into the pay-per-view find out well later on this episode so let's get into it guys i believe the pay-per-view is um okay guys i made a mistake the pay-per-view is after this week's monday night Raw, so that will be in the next episode um but anyways guys today or tonight jaheem with a leaping mushroom star stomp to start off the match and stomping out the modern day maharaja and the quick strikes so yeah, we're facing the WWE Champion in-game, Jinder Mahal. 
Um, he'll be defending his title against someone at the pay-per-view. I don't know. You know, we're in career mode. I have to make all of this. And the strength of Jaheim. Just Irish whipping Jinder Mahal over the ring. And look at the Singro staring at this guy. Making sure he doesn't go out after Jinder. And Kenny's also in Jaheim's corner. So, yeah, guys. Um, the pay-per-view. We're going to be facing Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose for that Raw Tag Team Championship title. Jaheim out another leaping mushroom stomp. I swear to you, that is not what I was trying to do. Like, when I run and I press X, it does it. When I run and hold X, it does it. So I don't, I don't know. Jaheim with more quick strikes to Jinder Mahal. What is this? What is this? Jaheim with the, the punch to the groin. Jinder, the punch to the groin. Jaheim with the suitcase. Jinder started coming, but it caught him anyways. And now Samir Singh, one half the Singh bros. Just trying to distract Jaheim, but Jaheim's not having any of it. Oh crap, I forgot. I have to run and do my signature. Or pick him up off the ground. Jinder with a neck breaker after wrenching the arms off that distraction from Samir Singh. Um, I'm pretty sure he broke up that, right? Like in real life? Last night on SmackDown? Uh, I'm recording this on Wednesday. This should be out on Thursday at least. But Jaheim misses the Springboard Phoenix Splash. Jinder is way too close. Jaheim just couldn't land in time. Jaheim now dragging Jinder Mahal. Leaving him alone. Too sweet. The too sweet hand gesture is here on Monday night. Raw and Jaheim with a super kick to Jinder Mahal. That could be it. But Jaheim's not finished. He's not going for the pin. This guy wants to make a statement against the WWE Champion, but Jinder takes him down. Jinder now picking up Jaheim slowly. Jinder now wrenching on the shoulder of the right arm. Trying to wear down Jaheim's arm. Trying to make him weak. All that damage on that shoulder would definitely help Jinder when he goes for that final blow, the Colossus. Jinder now with a snap here. Uh, that was not way too fast. Jinder now trying to go for a submission. Oh, what is this? Never mind. Thought it was a submission, but it's definitely not. Oh. Jinder now just wrenching on the arm of Jaheim. Jaheim desperately trying to get out of it. Jaheim now, what was that, like the elbows? Jinder still wrenching. Jaheim with a final punch and a hip toss to Jinder Mahal. And look at this. One of the Singh bros threw a chair in the ring and Jaheim just kicked it into the crowd. Jinder's in the corner. Jaheim with the elbow and the enziguri. The CCS enziguri courtesy of Samoa Joe. Jaheim, oh, try to kick Jinder in the gut. Jinder saw it coming and followed it up with a clothesline. Jinder going for the pin, one, and Jaheim kicks out immediately. Not even a count of one. Jinder went for a punch. Jaheim now turning him around with a backslide driver to the WWE Champion. Jaheim trying to make a statement here tonight. And what is this? The Singh Bros just threw, just dragged the ref out of the ring. Hold on, guys. You guys already know what time it is. Which one is that? That's Samir. Jaheim now going out of the ring. Grab him. Oh my god. Jaheim is magic and a drop kick to Samir Singh. Drop kick to Samir. Okay, I was gonna go for a thing, but no. And Jinder's back up. And the ref has ejected Samir Singh. One half of the Singh bros is out. Or do, does both of them go? Jinder picking up Jaheim. Jaheim with the roll through though. And Jinder gets out of it immediately. So yeah, the other Singh bro is still there though. Jaheim now, oh, with this um, corkscrew crossbody. Catching Jinder Mahal. Jaheim picking him up again. And Jaheim now with the quick strikes. The rapid strikes from Jaheim. Going for another pin. And Jinder with the rope break. Great ring awareness. He is not the WWE champion. For absolutely nothing. I was checking to make sure I have a signature. If I had a signature, Jaheim throwing Jinder to the ropes and a clothesline into the corner. And uh, okay, I went for like a drop kick or whatever in the corner, and it did that. What the hell? Wait, wait, it's glitching out. There we go. I just sort of like black and white particles or whatever. Jaheim now trying to throw Jinder into that corner. I did not mean to press A, but power slam from Jaheim, and now Sunil Singh getting into this match. I thought the ref ejected him for a second. I was about to say yes. Jaheim now turning around Jinder. Jinder caught him with the forearm. Jinder now trying to pick up Jaheim, but Jaheim resisting it, reversing it into an STO. 
Jahi now picking up Jinder once again. Turning him around successfully this time. Turns him around again. Kicks him in the gut. And he's going for Jinder's own finishing maneuver. The Coloss from Jaheen on the WWE Champion. I turned him around so I could do it, but it turned him right back around. I don't, I don't understand. One, two, three. And Jaheen has put away the WWE Champion with his own finishing maneuver. Jaheen just defeated the champion at the top of the list. He has to be feeling good going in to the pay-per-view. I believe it's payback. And now Kenny Omega coming in, giving his, his, I don't even know what this is anymore, his tag team partner a handshake saying, you did it, we're going to the pay-per-view. I don't know guys, after every match, they shake hands. It's either the person and their manager or the person and their opponent. I don't think it's supposed to be like that, so it might be a glitch or something. I didn't change any settings about that. So I hope you guys all enjoyed episode 2 of my career mode beyond next episode we are going to our face pay-per-view where we will face seth rollins and dean ambrose for their raw tag team championship titles so i hope you guys all enjoyed i hope you guys all stay tuned for the next video and i'll see you guys there peace out